What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved building tips. One of the tips, one of the mechanics that I tend to use in a lot of my builds, and it's to do with windows in Ark. Proper windows that you can look out and they actually look good instead of the normal square uh, hatch frame things that you. Yeah, it's really horrible like that, but actual windows you see through. Now, you will see in a lot of builds across YouTube and Arc or wherever you post the video that you will see these single window structures, and they do look really cool, and they're very, very easy to make. It's literally foundation, a normal ceiling, and then you attach a fence foundation to the ceiling instead, and then you put your first doorway, the greenhouse glass and then another doorway these are the single ones and they do look pretty cool some materials don't work very well as you can see with the wood they don't line up very well but the metal because they're completely straight the metal doorways are actually really nice and they're really really cool but singles can get rather boring so the double window is what I tend to work on a lot and it's it's a bit more I want to say difficult, it's a bit more strange to do because of the mechanics at play in Ark. Now as you can see here, I have got the normal setup, we have a foundation ceiling and then a fence foundation snap to the ceiling right here. And then we have a normal metal double doorway. Just set on to the fence foundation, snapped away from us, which is what we're supposed to do. But in Ark, for some reason, there is a mechanic that will not let you snap a same material double doorway in front or behind of each other. And I don't know why this is. So with a normal doorway, as you can see there, you can snap them right either behind or in front of each other. It all depends on where you start. And it makes like a cool window. But for the double doorways, for some reason, I'm going to fetch out. This is a metal double doorway. And as you can see, the snap points, it will not let you snap it next to or behind or in front of the existing same material doorway. And it's really, really strange. I don't know why it does this. This is just a random mechanic in arc. And it's kind of annoying if you just want to build a double um window that looks really cool with the same material either side but with this mechanic it does let you do it with different materials so we have the metal one if i fetch out a stone one as you can see we can now place them basically next to each other which is really really cool and then we can just place our piece of glass in the middle and we have a double window and it looks different on both sides. This allows you to build on the outside something, a material that you like. In, in this case, it'll be metal. And then on the inside, you could build out of stone. So it gives, I think it gives your building a bit more depth. And it looks a lot better. So here are some examples I've already set up. This is the outside of the base. So you can see I've actually added some like window shutters. Uh, these are just doors from the other side. So as you can see, we have the adobe here on the outside looking really cool. We have the metal and then we have the tech. So they all line up really nice on the outside. But then when you come to the inside, you can have a different material. So with the tech, you could match it up with stone. The tech, for some reason, they're double door frames are kind of wide and nothing else in arc is that wide these are just examples um so there, there you have your double door frame with, with this stone on the inside then you have the metal with the wood on the inside these line up pretty good as you can see you can't really see the metal doorways and then on this side, you, we have the metal with the adobe on the outside, which actually look really, really cool. Now, if you do want to use these shutters, you just snap them to this uh, to this um, doorway on the inside. So when you shut them, the, uh, the interior looks pretty cool. 
So stone with stone, wood with wood, and metal with metal, and so on and so forth. It looks pretty cool. And then on the outside, it just looks like the windows have been shut on the inside, which is really, really cool. But yeah, that is a little trick that I do on a lot of my builds. It, it switches the mechanic up a bit. And yes, it does leave you with a lot of room in between your walls. And sometimes when you try and when you want to turn like a corner, it is gonna upset the your placement of stuff. Cause let's let's see here. I just want to put like the normal like wall in. So on the outside, it would just be tech. So we just want a normal tech wall. We need to snap it to this point. You're gonna have to use this technique all around the base every time you want to try and turn a corner or go on a different wall or whatever because then on the inside we have the stone like so and boom we can get rid of that ceiling and now on the outside it still is tech and the inside still is stone but you have this massive chunky corner and it can look like really really hollow where you can actually see the stone for it but with the fence foundations that you place it allows you to place any type of pillar you want so you can place a tech pillar right there to make it look techy on the outside and it blocks the bulkiness of that corner up and hides the interior which is actually really really cool and pillars just tend to add a lot of depth to build anyway builds anyway if you just whack them on the outside of the corners and stuff it looks really really cool usually i would recommend switching it up from what it actually is so instead of tech i would put like metal or something just to make it stand out a bit more like so just make it look a bit different um but yeah that's the double windows instead of the single windows I prefer the double windows, you just you just get more out of them, you can just see more out of them, they just line up the better, the double doorways just tend to line up a lot better, because they're a lot similar to each other, I'm going to put a few out here, so as you can see, they're usually some kind of the same thickness, uh, each side of each one, so the metal and the stone, um, the thickness of the doorways are pretty darn similar, so you can put them front and back to each other so they look really cool it's the same with the adobe metal and stone they're all like the same thickness and they're pretty uniform they're completely straight line but when you come to like the wood stuff they're pretty similar as well because their thickness is all right but they have this silly wonky in and out bit on the outside it's kind of annoying because sometimes when you do try and put these next to each other in like a, a really good curve, they will tend to stick out a bit and it can kind of mess up the build. But yeah, they're, they're still pretty good. The only the only really bad one is the tech one. These things do not match with anything just because they're so thick and they're really, really annoying. That's why I don't really tend to build a lot of tech bases. The other materials are just a hell of a lot better to build out of. Now you're probably wondering, why in the world does uh, do I use this technique? You can just use pillars to try and make these double windows. And you, you could, but me personally, I don't think they look that good. So I'm just going to set up one here. So we just get our pillars, it doesn't matter what type of pillar, we can just go boom boom and then you can whack some glass in the middle and yes technically that is a double window and it, it, it is pretty cool and it only gives you a single layer to build off but to me that's boring I don't know why it's probably because I've played art for so long I find that extremely boring and repetitive and it's just these pillars are really thick and these are just not they just look better. They give you more of a window to lock out of. Me, personally. So yeah, Moors, this is just a quick like tutorial how-to. Because with these as well, you can add shutters to them. Uh, just to make you look, look like your windows have got some kind of shutter system. So when a storm comes or something, you can just um, shut them. And boom. You're kind of safe from the inside. You can add them to the outside. But the only problem is they open inwards. 
uh, let me just try and show you this. Let's get some metal ones. We can whack them on this door frame here. The only problem is when you open these, they will open inwards. And it's going to stop you from moving inside. And it's really, really annoying. Sometimes it, sometimes they will open outwards, but you, you've got to be extremely lucky to find uh, the interaction point that does it. So there you go. We managed to open them outwards. But for most people, when they just run along, they'll just close it or open them. And most of the time, they'll just open inwards. It's really annoying. But that is it, mortals. Less than me babbling. Make sure you go and try this out for yourself. Maybe you'll pull it into one of your builds. Have a good uh, outer it, outer looking building made out of a, of a whatever material you want. And then when you go into the inside, you're like, boom, it's totally different material. And you're like, okay, you can do a lot more with this. So I hope you enjoyed. Maybe it helps you out. I hope to see you in the next video.